start. Okay, hi all, good morning. So, if I am not, if I am not wrong, so row number, row number. Okay, I, I will try to cover those things today. Okay, row number and row number. Okay. Yeah. Let me see if I have some examples here. The top is also left. Sorry. Top is also left. T O P. Ah, uh -huh. yeah. I will tell you top a bit. Those things are very simple. It won't take much time. We will cover that. But but we will cover that here. Yeah. This one, I, I'm searching for some good example. Department is there. Okay, I think no, no shark tank, shark tank question. Nobody has solved shark tank questions. Hmm, this is this is fine. No, this is not that's a good question. This is also not good. This is also not good. I'm looking for a scenario which should cater multiple requirements. Ah, this is fine. This is fine. Yeah, we'll take this one. Okay. So now uh, let me let me create this. So table is created and rows are inserted. Let the star student. Some noise is coming, background noise. Okay, fine. So this is the, your student table, okay? And this is the data. <clears throat> so hope you guys can understand uh, the, and first of all, try to understand what is the data, okay? So I have a student A here, okay? And this is the semester, so A, in physics, we have four semester, and then for A in chemistry, we have four semesters. Okay, and similarly, for B, you have four semester in physics, and then you have four semester in chemistry. Hope this data is clear. Okay, any question on yeah, data? Yeah. 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 Okay. So I will start with row number, then I will tell you row number. Okay, if I will you start with row num, no, you will get confused. So let me start with row number and then I will tell you what is row num. Okay. Sandeep regularly follows those LinkedIn posts. I think that is a very good habit. <laughs> oh, really? And I'm not telling to follow my post only, okay? Follow everyone, whoever you think that's <laughs> posting good questions, no? Yeah, so yeah. You, you can follow them. It's not a problem. Yes. We have to learn. We don't bother about channel. Try to learn whatever mm. channel it is coming. Okay. I have written something here. Okay. We will see that what I have written and it is going to happen. <clears throat> My screen is visible, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, fine. So here, here I have written this one, row number. Okay, over order by marks. And guys, again, again, I'm repeating. Okay, see, uh, I have introduced you most of the keywords of SQL, right? I have told you some exceptional aspect of them as well. Now, now you guys have to try. You have, you guys have to practice. Okay, so that will make you perfect. Are you getting my point? The more you will yeah. practice SQL query, the more means command you'll be having. That's the only funda. No teacher means they, they, they can only show you the path. Now you have to run, you have to walk, or you have to crawl. That depends. So finally, I'm telling means we are almost done with the syllabus in one to two classes. Now keep on practicing. And I think you both, especially Shivanshu Sandeep, oh, you both are practicing. I have noticed this. So please keep this momentum up, okay? Make it a habit of practicing at least two to three questions on a daily basis. And really, that, that will really helpful here because nowadays, no, most of the interviews are, believe me, they are just checking. If you know SQL, that's all. They will, they will bring you in. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. Yesterday because I saw one successful. post in LinkedIn. Sackel company. They were uh, just to if you know SQL, they they are hiding. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. That that's well. <laughs> And and that is a benefit for me as well. <laughs> I'm getting more students. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know the the current batch, we have close to seventeen, eighteen students, and I'm telling them that no, I cannot, I cannot accommodate. We follow fifteen maximum only, but they're telling no, sir, we we want. So that's the demand. I'm getting benefit. Thanks to that. Thanks to the IT industry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, so 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 yeah. Please practice questions on a daily basis. So that is what I want to tell. Okay, and if you need any help, you you can connect with me. I think Sandeep, Swarshu, you both are connecting with me. That that's good. But if sometime I am occupied, I'm very sorry. I'm I'm getting back to you at later point of time. But surely I I try to <laughs> try to cover all the questions whoever is asking. Okay. Okay, fine. See, so I have written here row number over order by marks. Okay, so so this row number is nothing like a Serial number. If you see, you no, know, this is like a serial number. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is this seems to be like a serial number, correct? Hope that is clear. Yeah, clear. And I have written here order by marks. So if I have not given anything, so by default it will take it as ascending. We know this, correct? Yeah. So if you will notice this, this is this is sorted based on order by marks. I see fifty is the lowest one, so rank is one, row number is one, hundred then two. So it is based on order by marks, correct? Ah, uh, if you want to sort yeah. it in descending order, you can do that. That is simple, and I think you guys are matured enough so you can understand that one. You can play with this, make it ascending, yes. descending, or whatever you want. You know, you can play with this. This, this is the simple one. Now see, it it, it is reversed. The one who has scored the maximum marks, serial number one, and all these things. Hope oh, this is clear. That the function of this is very simple, very straightforward. Okay. Now, uh, uh, okay. Now, 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 suppose the requirement is requirement is that you know that means you have given serial number. This is fine, but. But I want to give serial number based on the student name, okay? Based on a student name, like they they are asking to do partition, partition by name, okay? Name. Partition by name they want. I have written partition by name, order by marks, etc. So now if you see output for they first of all they will make a bucket of A. Now see this is bucket of A, okay? In A bucket, they have sorted marks in descending order. So three fifty first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, right? Then they have created some other bucket B, and then in B again they started from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can bucketize the serial number as well. Okay. In the previous example, you might have seen that it has given the serial number to all the all the marks irrespective of the name of the student. But then I've written here partition by name. So now you can see that serial number is based on the partition. It has divided based on based on the name, right? Is this clear? Hello, is this clear? Yes. Yeah, clear. Okay. Okay. Now, if I will ask you, if I will ask you, no. Okay. Again, here is one more twist. One more twist is there. We tell you one more test. Partition by name. Subject. Okay. So let me run this one now. Okay. I have written partition by name and subject. Now, now, now look into this. What is happening here? Name and subject. So first of all, name and subject. I have written partition by name and subject. So it will make a bucket of name and subject. So A and chemistry, one bucket, right? Yes, correct. You you can see this. A and, oh, yeah. A and chemistry is one bucket. So they they will start the serial number one two three four, and then A and physics is another bucket. So for A and physics, they have different serial number, right? Yes. Okay, one two three four. Yeah. So the bucket or the segregation, you you can control that with the help of this partition by. You can play with this. Hope this is clear. Clear. Okay. Now, now, now,
no one at all so this is clear no yeah clear oh. now if i will ask you to tell me from this example tell me one demerit of this row number can you find some demerit of this what is the demerit of this row number what is the demerit of this row number who will tell don no sorry yeah come on yeah take that uh i guess uh hmm. number you you are correct you are correct shivan so correct you are thinking i'm i'm yeah, saying yeah, duplicate with you duplicate ah 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 correct correct that's what think about this duplicate good catch this duplicate what is happening here duplicate correct good work yes what is the serial number 23 23 <laughs> is that yeah, a problem yeah. or not yeah yes it's a problem no why yeah, yeah. you can yeah. ask this question that tanveer in physics he has scored 250 chemistry he has scored 250 we have given rank 2 for physics and rank 3 for chemistry so chemistry yes. will short no chemistry will make yeah, noise yeah. that yes. i have scored same as physics why you give me third rank correct yeah yes so this is this is you can tell one of the limitation of row number one actually number. actually this is not a limitation intentionally this is done but like this behaves yes. like this so for us for the user it seems like no 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 this is like a limitation right correct yeah. no yes yes and i have a question over one minute sir let, let me complete and then then you can ask okay now to solve this you, you see like earlier we have used that button mobile right you have that headset yeah, mobile yeah. we used to click yeah. on button right then we got some some colored mobile and then a smartphone again in a smartphone we got some new new features right so it 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 got improved correct with the time yeah similarly this limitation of row number which we are discussing now that if we have duplicate records of the signing the same real serial number which keyword will solve this name the sql keyword which we have introduced to solve this problem of row number think and tell me you know the answer you both yeah rank rank yeah correct now shivanshu yes i was asking the same question yes ah, so yeah. that is why i told you just hold on i i i was aware yeah. that you will ask same okay. question so <clears throat> so to solve this we have a concept of rank or dense rank i am hmm. not going yes. that rank skips a hmm. sequence hmm. and dense rank hmm. doesn't skips no i am not going to hmm. that part now hmm. okay hmm. that that we have already discussed otherwise this yeah. all become kishori okay so to solve this problem of row number we have the concept of rank and dense rank okay now someone someone has posted on linkedin i think couple of days back i will not tell who has posted and all those things okay someone has posted that you can you can use row number to find the second highest salary or the third highest salary and the fourth highest salary okay hmm. is that a correct statement or there is any problem in that no no we can't use if it is a duplicate then it will for not correct not it will correct perfect, perfect now see here this is a duplicate if we will use row number i will write row number is equal to 2 i will think he is the second highest but chemistry also is the second yeah. highest yeah. so this will yeah. so so you you should know that where the problem is and one more thing i will tell any linkedin post okay verify that okay don't trust that okay if someone has posted this okay this is correct no verify it even if i am writing a query i am posting take it that's why i am sharing the create a statement in certain statement if you will notice whenever i will put a question i will i will share this yes. as well okay this yeah, is like yeah. a statement insert so that user can take it copy and paste it run it run my query and cross verify always for my query as well i am telling don't blindly trust it that okay tanvir has posted this no if you think some concept is is not clear go through that if you think that no some mistake is there comment on that ask me okay so so that's where someone has mentioned that row number we can use to find second highest third highest so that is correct we can find but when we have duplicate record that will fail and whenever you are writing any sql query that must be generic 
you, you should not tell that it will catch up to this particular requirement. There are a few scenarios where, where we have to write a query for a particular scenario that is exceptional things. Okay. Yeah. So hope this is clear. Row number concept. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Okay. Now, yeah, Shivanshu, tell me what question you want. Yes. So, uh, let, according to my under, uh, uh, understanding, mm -hmm. like for this question, the rank would be uh, mm -hmm. like for chemistry, uh, chemistry would be one, physics, uh, like the uh, like here, two and three would be two and two, right? Correct, 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 correct. Mm -hmm. And and for the dense rank, uh, it it would be like this only one, two, three, or dense rank. Or the, see, two rank. Ha, two only rank and dense rank will, will give the two rank only. For two fifty, it will give rank two only. Rank or dense rank both. Okay, okay. correct. Ha, rank yeah. what it will do after this rank two, it will skip three and will start this. Yes, four. okay. Correct? Okay, yes, it yes. Skips. We got have it. discussed last time. Okay. Yes, got it, got it. Yes. So yes. Okay. Right. Perfect. Perfect. Now, now coming to this row number. Hope row num mm. row number is clear. Row number is clear. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So similarly, uh, I think long back, I think one month before, someone has posted that we should not use order by in the inner query and all those things. Okay. I'm not sure if you guys remember or not. So just I'm telling. So it is not, it is, it's not a rule that you should not use order by an inner query. What if you, what if you're using row number? So you have to use order by that is mandatory. If you're yes, writing yes. row number, if you're not writing order by that will throw error message. So yes. on that also I've commented that no, sir, an inner query, if you're using window function, that is mandatory to use order by. You cannot yeah. tell that you cannot use order by an inner query that will impact the performance. You are correct. That order by impacts the performance very badly. Distinct impacts the performance very badly. We should avoid using that to a certain extent wherever it is possible. But in certain situations, wherever it is mandatory to use, then you have to use it. Okay. Fine. So now can you ah, yeah. can you repeat your number? Uh, like like what is the use of your number? Like can you uh, use of can this? you repeat? Yes. Ah, okay. Your number. Ah, see. Uh, uh, you are correct. Now, now you are thinking that fine, you have told that row number is having this limitation, right? I think mm -hmm. this is the one. Mm -hmm. So you are telling that okay, then we you told that row number is having this limitation that 250 is same, but it is giving different rank, correct? But if you think mm -hmm. honestly, then rank should be uh, or CDL number. I will not tell this is rank, rank is different. Mm -hmm. CDL number should be same. So if you're telling this is having limitation, then then where we should use this, correct? Yes, right. Uh, when you have to, uh, uh, when we have, when to, use have the, to use your number, I'm not getting this. Uh, when we have to use this, okay. I have few questions as well, which I will share with you. Few LinkedIn posts are there where I've used row number, okay. But to answer your question right now, so go through those questions, okay, and you will get more better understanding. Now to answer this. To answer this, row number is having one advantage on top of rank and dense rank. Right now, I told you that row number is having one limitation, right? Similarly, yeah. row number is having one advantage as compared to rank and dense rank. Can you see that advantage here? See, advantage is whether marks is same or not same, it will start doing the serial number blindly. One, two, three, yes. four, five, six, seven, yeah. right? Correct, no? Yes. Similarly, yes. see here. Yeah. He will not bother whether you have marks same or not. He will start doing the serial number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Correct? Yes. Yeah, yeah. In certain scenarios, when you want to see the number of records for a particular segment, suppose... <clears throat> A particular requirement is I want to see how many records of A are there. Okay. So through this, I can yeah, find yeah. each and every sequence. Okay. But in rank okay. and dense rank, if you will remember, you don't have each and every sequence. If you can remember yes. that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Rank yes. will skip and dense rank will shorten the sequence. Yes. I, I cannot, I mean, I'm not sure if you can recollect all those things, but if you yeah, can yeah, correlate yeah. what I'm telling. So that is again one problem with rank and dense rank. And in those situations, you have to use a row number because it will give you a proper sequence. Proper sequence will be there. But in rank, you know, it will skip. 
suppose in this case, if I'm using rank, I will write, okay, no, one, let, one, let me, let me write that here, but that will be more easy, no? So we can also use count function, count. Uh -huh. I, I, one minute, one minute, one minute, I will tell you, I will tell you. Let me use that rank to more clear. Right for that. This is Jens. Okay. Now I think it will be easy. We can compare the things now. Okay. Now please compare it. Now see. Um, First of all, concentrate on this A record. Okay. Row number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. It is in serial mm -hmm. manner. Rank yes. one, one, two, two. two. Because yeah. the marks is same, two, so it has given two. That is fine. After that, it is started with four. It has skipped four. the sequence. Yeah. Three is skipped. Yes. Now yes. row number has covered three here, right? Now yes, yes. coming to dense rank. One, two, two. This is correct. After that, it has taken three. This is also correct. After that three, because okay. here the both the marks are 200, so it has given three, this is also correct. But see, finally seven is missed here. Eight, eight is missed, seven and eight, both are missed yeah. here. Yes. yes. Correct? So yeah. with the help of rank and dense rank, I cannot get the exact serial number. But hmm. row number will give you the exact serial number. That is the benefit of a row number. Hope I yeah. answered your question. Yes. yes. Okay. So they both have their own advantages and disadvantages. And you have to understand in which scenario, which one has to be used. Okay, that totally depends on the on the question. Is that fine? So like, so like here, if we want to know how much record A is holding, so we can use count. No, 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 not how much record. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not telling you from that perspective. Hmm. If I want to see how, how many records A is having, of course, I will use hmm. select uh, a name, comma, count of a star from this table yes. group by that. Like yes, I can yes. use that, right? Yes. But mm. that, will, but that mm. will give me the collective count, right? It will give mm. me the mm. seven mm. records mm. are there, right? Mm. But suppose mm. yes. if there is a situation there, I want that, mm. okay, at serial number seven, match the serial number mm. seven of A with the serial number of seven of B. How, how we can do that? We have to use row number. Correct. Okay, okay. If I want to match joint serial number of A6 with the serial number of B6, I can use this row number. Okay, got your question. Okay, right. right. That, okay. That, that's the benefit. They all have certain okay. limitations, benefits, and, and all okay. those things. Okay. okay, I have one more thing I forgot to tell you. I have, I have covered the difference between uh, intersect, union, union all, minus, in, not in. Okay, and I have in the morning batch. Okay. Suddenly yes. that came to my mind. Someone asked the question. Okay. Like here you ask this question. Maybe in another batches, no one, nobody has asked this question. So this yes. is the first time I'm explaining this. Okay. That's why I insist the students that please keep on asking questions. So, so new, new concepts will come to my mind and I will tell you. So yes. that's why you can go through those recordings. Those who are interested. That was a very important concept of this difference between union, union, all minus join and intersect. Okay. And, and I've told that from SQL engine perspective. That that was very, very good session. If you like, you can go through that. I will share the recording. You can go through that recording. If you need any help, you can discuss that. Okay. Okay. So hope row number, rank, dense rank, the difference in which scenario, which one you have to use. Is that clear? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good year. Now, now I want to introduce row number. I want to introduce row number. Yeah. Okay. Now see Ronam. Okay. And you guys tell me what this Ronam is doing. Last last column. Concentrate on the last column. What this is doing? Ronam. Ronam. What this so, is doing? Ronam is doing if you insert uh, insert wise, it is it is correct, correct, insert. correct. Yeah. Correct. Mm. Okay. So this is just based that pattern, how the SQL engine has inserted the record in the table. 
Okay. Yeah, I didn't get the own number. Uh, I didn't get. Uh, okay, 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 okay. If you see row num, number is eight here, four here, eight, yes, six, four. seven, three, right? So if you will, if you will closely analyze this, you will not find any pattern here. Correct. You can ask me question that then we why this is eight, why for three fifty marks it is eight. I don't yes. have any answer. I don't have any answer. You you can ask that why this is one for hundred marks. Why it is one? I don't have any answer. The reason is. The reason is sequel the sequence in which it is inserting the record, it is giving this row number. Okay, so this is not having any logic. Like for for hmm. this we have logic, no? That row number if it is row number, it will start the giving the serial based on the serial one two three. We have a proper logic for this. For rank we have a proper logic. For dense rank we have proper logic. But for row num there is no proper logic. It will just randomly it will assign numbers to any record. Now the question is, how it can be useful? Correct. Yes. Hello. How it can yes. be useful, right? I will show you how it can be useful. See. You got the first record where row number was one, or I can do like this. Less than five. Got four records. Now you can ask that what is the use of this? On which parameter you got this four record, right? So there is no parameter. It is just randomly. I am telling that okay, I want any four records. I want to do some random analysis. I want to see just the data, the structure of data, nature of data, and all those things. But that is why you can use this row number. In that case, it will give that any four records. As for the sequence which it has inserted it, clear or it is not clear? Yeah, yet. yeah, clear, clear. For clear. the for the if you have used less than uh, five, so it mm -hmm. will give uh, for row number is one to four. Like suppose if you will write less than ten, so it will give row number one to nine, right? Uh, one to nine. Sorry, I I didn't get you. I think I think I have confused you guys. One minute, one minute, one minute. Let me take a like. Let me take a simple example. One, give me one minute here, okay? I will take a simple step. Example: Create table, learn. Okay. Yeah, ID. One minute, you want to? I will take some other example here. Director two. I will give you one example from that. Easily you will understand what is going. Okay, table is cluttered. No, I'm inserting one record, one A. Okay. Why don't you please concentrate on this? Okay. Understand your ideas. I will not tell anything. You will automatically you will understand. It. Okay. What is the row number here? Why don't you? One. One. Okay. Very good. I'm inserting another record, Shivanshu. Two B. Okay. Record is inserted. Now, please look at the row number. Yes. What is row number now? Uh, two. 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 Correct. For second record, row number is two. Okay. Two. Okay. Now see. Now please look. Look here. I'm asserting two records in a single go. Okay. okay. Three and four. Okay. Now please consider it here. This is very important. Okay. One, one, two, three, four. Three, yeah. 
1A, 3, 4, 5, 1C, 4B, row number 1A, 3, 4, 2, 5. Sir, why sir, it will giving for C and D 1, 2, 1 and 2, yeah. A, B, na? Mm -hmm. Yes, 1 and 2 was A, B. Correct, correct. Now see what is happening here. You understood this first two? Yes. Yeah. Here what I have done? Individually, yeah. I have run each and every record. Correct? Yes. Yeah. Here I have executed this in a single go. Single yes. go. Yes. Correct. Yeah, have, yeah. have you noticed that? Yes. Yes. Single go. So it has the, so row number will give you the numbers based on the insertion. I told you earlier. Yes. Yes. Right. So yeah. when you have inserted this, it has considered this like, okay, this is the first insert and this is second insert. And then it is overriding this as the last. Uh, not getting you, not getting you, not getting right. See, see, it is like, uh, it is like, uh, how I can give you example. Now again, if you take 2015, you bought a Nokia mobile. Okay. Suppose 2016. So you will tell that this is your, this is your any transaction, right? This is a, this is a transaction. Okay. This is your recent transaction. Correct. In 2015. Yeah. In 2016, you bought a Samsung mobile. Now, which is your recent transaction? Samsung. This is your recent transaction. And this yeah. will become your old transaction. Old transaction. No, not clear, not clear. Okay. One yeah. more example. Clear. 2017, you bought Redmi mobile. Yeah. Now, which is a recent transaction? Redmi. This is your recent transaction. Yeah. Okay. This is your last transaction. Yes. They all are getting changed or not? Yeah, yeah. This is your previous transaction. Okay. Mm. Similarly, which record you have inserted recently? Three and four. Okay. So it is taking this as the recent one, right? Now, right now, this were inserted and this were inserted previously. Okay. So something mm -hmm. assume it like this. So this is based on the insertion order. There's no strict pattern to this. I will show you more, one more example on top of this. So that will become more clear. Now see, you have a concept of row ID as well on this. Now, what is row ID? No. If you will see here, here you have a row ID. This is something very typical number, no? Can see some very typical number, right? Yeah. So this row ID and the row number, they both are very much related. How they are related? If you suppose you went to Delhi and you have taken a hotel and you are staying there. If I will ask you that where you are staying, you will give me a location address, right? We all have one address. So this is giving me the physical address of this particular record where this was inserted, where this was inserted. So similarly, this is the row ID. This will give you the address. So this row, <coughs> sorry. So this row num, this row ID, these are like a pseudo columns, which, which SQL engine will, will take care of this. You don't have any control on this. Are you getting a point? Yeah. You don't have any control. This row ID, you don't have any control. This SQL engine is giving you that this is the address. Now see, if you will look at all these values, no, they all are different. Can you show me any two values which are same? Even if the data is same, if you have to du du duplicate records, the row ID will be different. Yeah. I think it is not clear. Clear. No ID. It is clear, Shimanshu? Yes, sir, clear. So row ID is giving you the address. Even if you have exactly similar records, can we have two records, which I think we don't have, but if you have an exactly similar records, the row ID will be different because it's giving you the address. You Do you have any control over this? No. This is assigned by SQL engine. Similarly, this row num is assigned by the SQL engine. You cannot have any control. You don't have any logic for this. This is totally based on the insertion, how SQL is doing it. So generally, we don't use this row num. But I thought I will introduce you this. Hope this is clear now, guys. Yes. Yeah. But don't get confused much. Okay. Apart from this rank, dense rank, row number, this is useful. 
but Rona was in topic, so I thought I will tell you. And most of the bachelor students will suddenly they will get confused that what happened. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so there is no strict pattern to the on that. Is that clear? Any question? No question. Sorry, if you, if you insert one more record in that. Again, the pattern will change. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, and again that also depends that how you are inserting single record or multiple records in a single go. There's no strict pattern to that. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Fine. So we have covered uh, row num and row number. Now let me show you. Okay, let me start with lead and lag function. This is my many of my questions are based on lead and lag on LinkedIn posts. So thought. Entire lag time questions are <laughs> depend uh, on this one lead and lag. Ah, uh, correct. Out of five, out of five, four questions are based on lead and lag. Ah. Uh, Correct, correct. <laughs> sir, can you, uh, sir, can we uh, in one of your assignment you have told like uh, do this query with uh, without uh, intersect and join. Not intersect and join. When I given that question to you, sorry. Uh, let me see. So uh, let me see uh, what your question. Oh, is he asking about you want uh, yes, matching yes, records without intersect and joins, matching records we, from the two tables, uh -huh. but we you, we cannot use intersect and joins. Ah, got it, got it, got it. Okay. I given that to your batch, no? Yeah, yeah. Okay, have you solved that? Yes, yes, I was, uh, I was about to come here. You have told do not use intersect ah, nor join. So, correct, so, correct, so correct. there while... Uh, uh, so there I have used uh, exist. No, 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 you should not use exist as well. You should not use exist. I have used, but my uh, answer has come. No, ah, so you have answer, to see. Answer you will get your yeah, answer. You will get like in current batch, even same question again. So purpose of this kind of questions, no, means how, how depth you can think over a particular keyword. Okay. That is what I have given that. You can share with me, like, I will I will see that question solution. Okay, how you have done that? No, but you I mean to say, hmm. you mean to say, uh, uh, with using exist my uh, like uh, the ways I'm doing. Hmm. Sorry, exist. No, no. Like, you can like, you you can use exist here. Yeah. Exist will also give you correct answer. Nothing problem in that. But but actually at that time when I given this question, I was teaching you joints. I think right. No, no, 15 Feb assignment. Okay, then I, then you share with me that solution. What you have done, I will look into that. Okay. Okay. No, sir. We will discuss the assignment when the uh, all will come action and all. Then we ah, can sure, sure, discuss. Sure. Then that is that is required. Yeah. I think one class is pending. Yeah, sure, sure. Leave sure. it tomorrow. Discuss that. Okay, so let's let's try to understand lead and lag function. I think this is the simple, but let me give you some. Now, if you see, I have written here lead marks comma one over order by name. These all are window functions, okay? And lead is my favorite. This has solved many tough questions. In simple manner we created. Okay. Now, if you see, uh, I think Sandeep knows this concept. So, but Sandeep, if you have a question, you can ask me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, Shivanshi will think that this new column, which I have written lead marks comma one, right? Can you tell me what is happening here, Shivanshu? Can you, can you find a trend here? Yeah, wait a second. Yes. Uh, what I see is uh, like it will it will skip hundred and and it will give what is after hundred. Hmm. Like uh, like uh, it will give uh, like you can say a uh, diagonal uh, diagonal has, type. It has moved the sequence to one step up. Yes, yes. I was telling you that if you get 100, then what will happen after 100? Correct. So 150 is here. 350 is here. 200, yes. move to one step up. 250, yes. one step up. 50, one step up. Okay. So lead will this two only. It will move records by one step up. Okay. Yeah. But if I will write this one instead of this, if I write, please understand lead. So now in, nowadays in interviews, everyone is asking this lead. So 
concentrate on this. Okay. Maybe three. It will skip three. Ah, uh, correct. See, I have written late marks, comma two. One, two, three. Marks, yeah, three. So I am telling you. Ah, hmm. uh, so now don't compare with this one. Don't compare this. Compare this three. column with the original marks column. Now three fifty is here, right? It how many steps yes. it has jumped? Two steps. Two. Two steps. Why two steps? Because I mentioned two. Yeah. Because I mentioned here two. Okay. Similarly, two hundred is present here. It has jumped two steps. Similarly, two fifty has jumped here. It has. I mentioned two steps. So you can control the steps. Huh? How how many steps you want to jump? So just you have to control with this one, two, whatever you want. You can write it here. Okay, so that is your lead function. Is that clear, Shivaji? Yes. Similarly, similarly, you have lag function. Okay. But but when lead is used, it will I, skip. I, will, I know I will it will skip. I will tell you when it is used. I will tell you. Well, let me introduce you first of all. Then now you have lag function. Okay. I don't understand what is lag. Lag is opposite of lead. Missing expression. No. Lag is opposite of lead. So when what happen here? What is happening here, Shivaji? This was hundred. Hundred is present here. It went one step down. One fifty. One step down. Correct. Three fifty. Yes. One step down. Yes. 200 the step down so can i tell mm -hmm. that lag is a positive of lead uh yes okay is exactly a positive of lead now similarly like i told you for lead no that you can control the steps two step three step how much you want similarly you can do with lag as well. suppose if i write here two okay not let's see what is happening here now see this 100 Now it is two steps down. Mm -hmm. See here, this two steps down. No? Is that clear? Hello. Yeah, clear. Similarly, one fifty. It is two step down. This is here. So this is the lead and lag. Now you can use partition by on this partition by concept is same. Whether you are using that in rank, tens rank, row number, wherever you want, the the concept is same. Now suppose if I do partition by here, partition by name, name or subject, whatever you want, you can play with that. Partition by name, I have written. Now see here, I have written partition by name. So here it will make a bucket of name A. Okay. So here what is happening? This was was lead, so it has moved one space up. One fifty is here, three fifty is here, two hundred is here. One step it is jumping up. Why? Because because it is lead, and I have written here one, two fifty up, fifty up, two fifty up, two hundred up. Now here it is stopped. Here it is stopped. Why? Because I have given here partition by name, right? So for it will make a segregation based on the name. So for A, first of all, it will do all the operation. Once if it is done, then it will pick the B. Okay, to pick the next record. Now for this, as well, if you see, two fifty up, one fifty up, one fifty up, like that. So with the help of partition by clause, you can do a segregation. Yes. If you want to do segregation on name, or you want to do segregation on subject, or if you want to do segregation on combination of this, you can do whatever you want. So partition by concept is same whether you're using a rank, tens rank, row number, lead, lag. It is exactly one and the same. So first of all, before moving that, where we can use this, is the concept clear? Concept wise, any question, Shivanshu Sandeep? Yeah, no questions. Shivanshu, open is clear. Shivanshu, can you hear? Yes, clear. Okay, now now the question is that where we can use it, right? Yeah. Where we can use it? No, let me show. Sure, and when. Where and when? Okay. Let me tell you. Let me start. 
name for subject comma in semester one that's okay. This was the original data. Yeah. This was the original data. Okay. Now, now suppose, suppose the question is now listen to this very carefully. Okay. Now, the question is <clears throat> they want to fetch those students whose marks has continuously increased. This is my LinkedIn question. <laughs> whose marks has uh, continuously increasing the semester. Increasing, yeah. Increasing with the semester. Is the question clear? Yes. Whose, whose marks has continuously increased with the semester. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, if I will consider this first four record, can you see the mass marks? Is it continuously increasing with the semester? Yes. Yes. In first semester is scored hundred. In second year scored one fifty. Third year scored two hundred. So marks is continuously increasing. Okay, this is a valid case, right? This is a valid case. Yeah. Yes. Then concentrate on this a chemistry. Is the mass continuously increasing? Yes. No. Uh, no. No, no. 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 Second no. and third it has decreased. No. Two fifty yes. to two hundred has decreased, right? Yes, yes. So similarly, if you check this one, B physics, is the marks continuously increasing? No. No. Okay. Say B chemistry, is the marks continuously increasing? 150, no. 150, yeah. No, 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 it is not continuously increasing, boss. Mm -hmm. First oh, and okay, second no. semester, it is same, no? So yeah, this yeah. is not increasing, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have done some manual analysis and we observed that A physics is the correct answer, right? Yes. Now the question is, question is how you can write a query, write a query for this, right? Because yeah. as per manual analysis, we got that, okay, this A physics is the correct, yes. correct yeah. output as per this mm -hmm. question, but how you can write a query for this, right? Yeah, by so, using lead only. Uh, correct. So here, what I have to do, I have to compare, yes. I have to compare this 150. Correct. Mm. Then I have yes, to compare yes. 150 and 200. 200. Then I have to compare this 200 and 250. 200. Correct. Yes. So if 150 is greater than hence so logic is this second semester mark should be greater than first semester. Yes. Third semester mark should be greater than second semester. Fourth mm. semester mark should be greater than third semester. If it is greater, then we can tell that yeah, this is the record which fulfills the requirement or criteria. Correct? No. Yes. Rancho, is that clear? Yes, clear. So how to compare now? Here we are comparing two records. Now how to compare? So for that we will write this lead function. Lead. Lead of marks. Lead of marks, comma, one. Yeah. Correct. No? Over. Partition by. Partition by. Yeah, we use row num also. Ah, oh, row num remove this. Sorry, yeah, by mistake I think I written here. Mm -hmm. So what? Uh, so what lead will do, uh, uh, lead will skip 100 and partition by partition by name Come subject. On. Yeah. Subject order by. Yeah, we can name. No, semester, no. You want semester wise, no? Yeah, yeah, wise yeah. Semester. Uh, semester wise. Okay, okay. From which student table, this was student table, no? Mm. Is that query? This is a query, right? Then this. So you can see we have a new new column here, right? Let me write yeah. for this column. Okay. Now we have yeah. with the help of the speed function, we have moved this up. 250 is here, 200 is here, 300 is, 350 is here. Okay. And now you can mm. take the difference of this that if this minus this, mm. this minus this, this mm. minus this, right? Yeah. Shivanshu, are you getting this? Yes, I'm getting. Uh... Shall I tell again? Yeah. And no, uh, your question was uh, we oh. have to find oh. the. the uh, 
ID where where marks uh, where marks are increasing, right? Marks are increasing with respect right. to subject. Hmm. Marks are increasing subject. with respect to subject. Correct. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Got. See, my question was to fetch those records where marks is increasing. Correct. Yeah. So if you see here in first semester, marks is 100. Second semester, it is 150. Third semester, it is 200. Fourth semester, it is 250. Correct. Yes. Now, how you can tell me that the marks is increasing? You will compare, no? If second yes. semester minus first semester, you will compare second and first. And then you will compare third and second. Then you will compare fourth and third. Fourth and third, yeah. So you have to compare this record with this record. Correct? This record. Hmm. You have to compare this record with the second record. This record. So that is why I'm taking this to one position up so that you can easily compare it. That is okay. the reason. Okay. <sighs> No, see, man, I'm running this now. No, see, it, it has moved up. Yeah. Let me put this semester here. No? This semester is coming here. This semester here. Then you can compare as you understand what is happening. Now, see. It started with chemistry, no issues. Now you can compare from here. Yeah. Not 250 is here, Shivanshu? Yes. 200 is yes. here. 350 is here. Now you can compare this. If you will take 250 minus 50, take the difference now. Yeah. Select. Start ID, from, comma. Yeah. Subject, Section. comma. Marks, comma. Lead, comma. Lead minus marks. Marks. Difference. Mm. Huh? Yeah. Mm. So that query for this. No, this is done. Mm. Now, if you have taken the difference, now difference here is 200. 250 mm. minus 50, 200. Mm. Now, yeah. if the difference mm. is minus, it means the marks has decreased, correct? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Correct. No, if the difference is mm. minus, so it means the marks has decreased. Yes. Semester. Now, see if you see here, it, the difference is minus fifty. So it means from second to third semester, mass has decreased by fifty. So this one, mass has decreased, correct? Yeah. So you don't want this record? Yes, we don't want. Yeah. Shivaji, you clear? Yes. And if you see this record, physics, physics, all are positive. Difference is positive. So it means continuously yeah, yes. it is increasing. Increasing, yes. yes, right, right. Second chemistry, again, yeah, all zero. are positive, but this is zero. We, we don't want zero as well because yeah, yeah. zero means yeah. it is same. We don't want same. We yeah. want it to be increasing. Yeah. So we want difference yeah. to be positive, correct? Yes. <clears throat> this one, this is again negative. We don't want this as well. Yes. So it means wherever marks is marks is less than equal to zero, we don't want those reports. Yes. Okay. So yeah. then I will write here that where this where this difference different, where difference greater than zero. No, if it is less than zero, we want to eliminate these records. No. Less yeah, than yeah, yeah. We, we want to eliminate yeah, yeah. this. Yes. So all are removed, which were like this. So we will remove this IDs. We don't want these IDs because they have this condition. Yeah. So finally, we will write. Swanchu, is this clear to you? Yes. I'm not sure you're understanding or not, but but you can try again. If you have any doubt, you can correct it. Start from the student. Where? Where ID not, not in. in. Okay, right? okay. Because you don't want these IDs because they are the difference is minus, difference is zero. We don't want these IDs because for okay. them it was decreasing, right? Yeah, yeah. ID not in. 
No, but you want a combination of ideal subjects, right? Right, no? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. ID and subject. You want ideal subject? So now remove this from here. ID, comma, subject. Not in side mm, comma. Yeah, subject. In of the term, what happens? Sir, you are not uh, brackets. Okay, After that. not in, you have to ah. open the bracket again. Correct, 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 correct. Still in permission of the term, where the mistake Hi. is. Oh, I think. This one is ah, we, we are opening two brackets, but you're, you're closing only one. We have to. Where? We have opened two brackets. Two ah, okay, brackets. okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I think I have opened one there, no? And I have mm. missed here one, right? Yeah. This is missed too. Ah, fine. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So we got this is the one who, whose mass is continuously increasing. Is that okay. clear, Shivanshu? Yes. So I, I know this is mm. this is a bit complicated. And same question, I think two months before I posted on LinkedIn as well. That's what I'm, I'm insisting. Go through the questions, LinkedIn questions. Now you can go through all the questions because you know the concepts of lead, lag, row number and all those things. Okay. You can understand. And you frame questions on your own. I told, I used to tell everyone, frame questions on your own as well. Okay, so hope this is clear. Any question on this lead lag partition by subject? So almost we are done with row number, row number lead lag. Entirely is left behind. Some of us will we'll cover this tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. So, but but please don't don't lose the momentum. Okay. Keep it up. Now you are on the path to become becoming champions of sql really I'm, I'm not joking but you can do that keep on practicing the questions that's what i can tell you that's the only thing fine then any other question guys sir, sir could you please explain data reconciliation now it's okay sir or it will take time no no i can i can tell that you want data reconciliation no yeah 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 okay okay see uh, i think reconciliation we have covered in that etl part yeah yeah, yeah but that i have forgotten uh -huh. Oh, no problem. no problem. I will explain that. Yeah. Uh, Shivanshu, if you want to drop, you can drop. No, not an issue. But if you want to continue, you can continue. Okay. Not an issue. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. I will see the recording. This recording. Uh -huh, sure, sure. Or okay. Shivanshu. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. You yeah. can drop. You can yes, drop. sir. Yes, sir. You were saying something. No, no, no. You can drop. You can drop. That's what I'm telling you. No problem. Okay. Okay. Want to continue, sir, uh, uh -huh. Okay. Uh, sir, uh, sir, tomorrow uh, will we be like. Discussing the assignment, na? 15. Ah, tomorrow we'll, we'll cover that. Tomorrow, same time. Okay. 7, 8, 7, 8, yeah. Join. Also, uh, also, sir, uh, sir, sir, like, uh, I have asked you, sir, like, I'm using the workbench, na? So, sir, there oh, in one of okay. your question, you, you have used key, today. use insensitive. Okay. I will call you today. Okay. We'll discuss on that. Okay. Yeah, bye, sir. Okay. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Bye. Okay. So, uh, so, Sandeep, reconciliation, right? You, you want to understand what is reconciliation? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so see, there there are two two areas. Okay, or there are two reasons. First of all, try to understand that why we do reconciliation, and then we will discuss what what we have to do in reconciliation. Okay, so okay. there are two two reasons why we do reconciliation. The first one is. <clears throat> Sorry, I have bad throat. Okay, no problem. Sir. The first one is you have done testing in state environment. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, suppose you are testing a project and state environment testing you have done. I'm I'm talking an ideal, ideal yeah, project yeah, yeah. Or, or the ideal format because yeah. I'm not talking from a general any any particular project perspective. Yes. I'm talking the, the ideal scenario. What should happen? So you have completed your testing in set environment. Everything is fine. You have given sign off. Yeah. After set, based on your sign off, the code will move to UAT, right? And yeah. Then in UAT, generally the business users they will come and they will do the testing. This is the format. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 
now you know the business users how they used to do testing they they will not do testing like like how you have done in sit because in sit you will do all the exhaustive testing boundary values positive testing negative testing white box black box and all those things you will do, right yeah but business users they will not do all those things because they are not bothered about all those pipelines and article and the logics whatever you have done they are not bothered about that yeah they they play only with the numbers they play only okay. with the numbers suppose you are working in a project which deals with the total revenue or total yeah. profit okay yeah. so they will check that the total profit is correct or not total yes, revenue yeah. which is coming it is correct or not or maybe investment they, wise, sorry, they will they are they ah, going to check correct correct good catch good one good one i think you have explained better than me they will yeah, they yeah. will check the functional part only that's all they are not bothered about yeah. the technical aspect they will not check it in every corner and all those things okay they will check that only okay the total profit and all these things are correct or not okay sometime they will give this task to the tester okay business stakeholders or the business analyst they will tell that okay you have done testing and said please continue the same in you add and they will okay. share some test cases with you ah uh, they will share test cases that i want these all functionalities to be tested yeah so there what you are doing you are you are checking and they will give you numbers that okay for this period this was the number this period this was the number and you will check it you will check it so that is one of the reconciliation okay okay apart from this the major reconciliation task the major one okay i will tell you the major one may not do it you have created your etl project everything is done okay okay uh -huh. everything looks good the stage integration layer access layer you have shown the numbers on the report now okay whether you are working on power bi you are working on obi or whatever platform report is ready you have tested yeah. the report and you have yeah. you have dropped an email to business stakeholder that is yes, mm -hmm. mr abc uh, the report is final i have tested everything looks good now you can use this for your for your uh, practical purpose or you can use this for your real life project okay okay now this is the first time you have prepared the report your, yeah. your project is go live now what happens your business stakeholders no they will not trust you yes why they will not trust because because this is the first time you have created project for them yeah, yeah. and earlier they was doing all those things on the excel sheet still if you don't know i will tell you still many of the business analysts the big shot business stakeholders still they are working on excel sheet because oh, okay. yeah they trust that and, and of course excel is a very powerful tool no doubt yeah yeah and i'm not telling that excel that database will replace excel no they both have their own pros and cons okay yeah yeah so they were working everything on, on an excel sheet generally this happens okay they are working everything on excel sheet suddenly they received a mail from you and you are telling that uh, we have created a report on obi or power bi uh, now you can remove your excel and all those legacy system whatever you are using you please report to this report okay so at the first yeah. instance so they will not trust you okay then they will yes. they, what they will tell they will tell that okay you have a, a created report okay that is very good sandeep uh, but uh, to get to gain some confidence i want you to do some some reconciliation to me for me okay Okay. Uh -huh. So suppose you are standing on two thousand twenty-two. Today is fifth March. Fifth March. Okay. Okay. So they will tell you that. Okay, fine. Uh, this is done. So I will. Uh, I will give you a report of twenty twenty-one January. Okay. I will give you a report of twenty twenty-one January. Uh, that is an Excel sheet, Sandeep. Uh, I will mail you that. Okay. And you will be having numbers: the total profit, total revenue, if fund wise, investment wise. And all those things. Okay. Uh -huh. One thing, the report which you have generated on OBI, extract that report or download that report, and compare it. Compare each and every number. Okay. okay. If each and every number is getting matched, then I will trust that okay, your report is giving me the correct number, and then I can okay. trust it. And then down the line, okay. I will remove my Excel sheet and all those things, and blindly I will follow your uh, OBI report or Power BI report. Okay. Is that clear? Okay. So this yeah, is known yeah, as reconciliation. You are doing a reconciliation. Okay. You are matching it. Okay. And when you will start doing yeah, reconciliation, yeah. you will face issues. 
okay generally issues will come okay generally issues will come okay. then further discussion will happen then you will be having a discussion that why this issue is coming then you will tell that this is the logic i have tested then they will tell that no no we have to do something else then you will show the frd that no no this was mentioned in frd <laughs> lot of discussion will happen <laughs> okay then they will tell that no i have told this to them you will tell no no they, i have email justification i will show you that so all this uh, <laughs> conversation happens yeah this happens here and that will become very heated discussion sometime okay you have to prove they will tell something okay so so that is three consultations i have told you i have explained you that how this happens so if someone is telling that no give me the definition the definition is like you are comparing the data of the existing report and the current report that is reconciliation and if there is any number mismatch so sometimes okay. you are doing manual adjustment you will, you will not do your business stakeholders will do okay sometimes they will agree that okay. yeah okay okay this is a mistake from our end because sometimes yeah, yeah. it happens our legacy system they have some limitations and your number is more accurate it happens so they will yeah. agree it and they will appreciate it okay so, so that's the thing okay hope hope that is clear sir yeah clear clear sir okay fine yeah sir, if anything any doubt sir shall i join on march 14th by if i get any doubts march 14th march 14th yeah atl batch already atl batch ha ha atl i think a few of the topics were left last time i know you you please yeah, join yeah. sandeep even yeah, i am yeah. feeling very bad at that time i was occupied so few of the classes are missed but you please yeah. please join join that batch yeah okay sir okay okay sandeep uh, yeah yeah okay thank, thank you, you thank sir. you bye 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 Thank mm -hmm. you.